little test that we're going to do is called the O'Brien test. This test is to look for any um, labral uh, injuries or uh, AC sprain pathologies, uh, depending on what is positive. Uh, first for this one, we're going to have the patient sit. The shoulder is going to be flexed up here to uh, 90 degrees of flexion. She's going to horizontally adduct about 15 degrees and then she's going to fully internally rotate so the thumb is uh, pointing downwards. The athletic trainer is going to stabilize uh, the posterior aspect of the scapula and then is going to apply um, downward um, resistance to the hand while she holds that up. Um, and then uh, while she does that, uh, we're going to look for any pain or uh, clicking uh, in while she's internally rotated. Um, it could be causing pain to the glenohumeral or labral tear um, or if the pain is um, to the AC joint it could be, while she does that, it could be a positive sign for um, AC pathology or, or sprain. We'll be doing a test to assess the winging of the scapula. For this one we're going to need a, a wall to push against. Um, so as she's facing the wall with both hands, she'll place um, them against the wall. And basically what she's, you're going to ask her to do is uh, kind of a push-up on the wall. So and as she does this, you're, you're looking at the, the medial border of the scapula and the inferior angle of the scapula to see if there's any, any type of uh, winging while she, while she does this. And as you can see, her feet are planted on the ground. Um, this is also uh, an indication for um, the serratus anterior muscle or its innervation, the long thoracic uh, artery um, are also po possible um, causes for that uh, winging of the scapula. The next special test that we're going to be doing is called the Apley's scratch test and this is, is basically assessing a general range of motion at the shoulder joint and um, the glenohumeral joint as well as the thoracic uh, movement. Uh, first one that we can have her do is um, bringing her uh, hand to the opposite shoulder as far as she can go. Uh, and this is, assesses uh, glenohumeral um, adduction, horizontal adduction, and internal rotation uh, of the uh, shoulder as well as scapular uh, protraction. Uh, next, we're going to have her bring her um, hand over the top to the opposite shoulder. And for this one, this is assessing glenohumeral uh, abduction, uh, external rotation at the shoulder, and scapular uh, elevation, and upward rotation of the scapula. And then the last one that she's going to do, she's going to be bringing her uh, arm down to the opposite shoulder. And for this one, this one is assessing uh, glenohumeral joint uh, abduction, internal rotation, scapular retraction, and uh, forward, or excuse me, downward uh, rotation of the scapula. The special test that we're going to be doing is called the pectoralis major contracture test. For this one, the patient is going to be um, supine on the table. Uh, at the edge of the table and then she's going to bring her hands, clasp her hands behind the head in this position so that the elbows are sticking out and then the athletic trainer is going to stand behind the head and going to passively um, push the elbows down to the table and if the patient is unable to do that um, then that would be a positive um, uh, indication for a pectoralis major contraction. Um, Set of tests that, special tests that we're going to be doing are for the, to assess the glenoid labrum and tears to that structure. First one that we're going to be doing is called a clunk test. And for this test we're going to have the patient in a supine position with their arm uh, at 90-90 uh, degrees. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, internally rotating it. And then uh, here, just, at, just below the glenohumeral joint, we're going to be playing an, uh, an anterior uh, force here at various angles. 
So if we come down or a little bit more internal rotation, apply anterior force, more internal. Or we can also do external rotation. Again, we're just checking different positions. So we're throughout the internal and external range of motion. And then we're applying our uh, downward or anterior force to the glenohumeral joint. And if you feel any clicking, locking, or, or popping at that uh, joint, that would be a positive indication for the glenoid labrum. Uh, next test that we're going to be doing is called a compression test. Compression rotation, it's also called a uh, gr uh, grind test. Uh, for this one, again, we would have the patient at uh, 90 degrees abduction, 90 degrees uh, elbow flexion. And for this one, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting there into uh, various degrees of um, uh, internal and external rotation while we're applying a longitudinal force along the humerus. And if we wanted to, we can also palpate that. So again, we were feeling for any clunking sensation or uh, giving away there at the glenohumeral joint. Next special test for the glenoid labrum is called the anterior slide test. And with this test, we're basically going to have the patient um, sit or stand with their hands on her hip, both hands on her hip. Uh, you notice the thumb is going to be um, facing the, the, on the posterior side. And the patient or the, the athletic trainer is going to st stand behind or kind of posterior and lateral. Uh, to the joint that you're assessing um, and the, on the one hand is placed over the shoulder with the index finger, uh, index finger is just lateral to the uh, chromium process which is right here and then the other, also over the uh, glenohumeral um, uh, ligament or joint. And then the other hand is going to be placed here on the elbow and then what we're going to be doing is be placing a longitudinal force along the humerus um, in that position. Uh, and again, while we're palpating here at the, at the finger, we're feeling for any um, uh, uh, crackling or um, slipping or, or locking at that joint. Um, indicating a positive uh, slap lesion.